what is happening guys it is Thursday and we are on our way to JJ's junkyard in Manchester New York I was reading some comments a few of you've been putting up on the uh, skate project and one of you had mentioned that there is possibly a good hood over to the JJ's junkyard um, so I'm on my way over there now and I believe the same person I forget your name buddy I'm in the truck <laughs> I'm not in front of a computer but I know you said you wanted me to look at your vehicle too and uh, just go ahead and email me and we'll, uh, we'll set up an appointment or whatever so you can come and we can look over your vehicle and see how I can help assist you with that. But anyway, um, Ford Escape Hood. That's what we're going to be looking for and uh, see what other knickknacks we can find. I mean, really, this vehicle doesn't need anything um, replaced other than the hood, windshield, and mirrors. Uh, if you guys have been following the videos, which I'm sure most of you are, um, I got the fender knocked out pretty good. The roof's knocked out at least 90% until I get a windshield. Um, and, you know, so we can fit it and whatnot. I don't really want to do much more pounding on that roof until I see where the windshield is going to sit. Uh, make sure everything's lined up there. But I, I do think I am going to take this vehicle and continue on um, and go the next step further and actually maybe go through this thing and, and paint it and do it right. Um, you know, I mean, for another couple hundred bucks it'll cost me. It's almost worth it just to have that much nicer of a looking vehicle. Um, and I mean, of course, what I do for a living, too, I mean, it just it makes it look that much better. Of course, you know, if you show up to somebody's place to do an estimate or whatever, I mean, it's like snow plowing. You know, you got guys that show up in people's driveways trying to get snow plow accounts, and their truck's running like shit, and it looks like it's going to fall apart, and things like that. People kind of question, is this guy going to be dependable? Is he going to show up? Look at what he's driving. So I guess it's the same thing. Um, you know, I always try to keep my plow truck looking halfway decent. And the vehicles that I drive on a daily basis, I like to look halfway decent. Everybody around here knows what I do for a living. And when you're driving something that's just nasty looking, it, uh, it, it, it makes kind of a bad... I don't really... I can't really say a name, but yeah, maybe a little bit. Wow, we got here freaking quick. We're just about here now. Um... But yeah, we're going to see uh, what they got in this junkyard. I've been taking you guys over to Trouts and Waterloo. Um, that's where I've done previous videos. Um, we haven't been to JJ's in quite some time. So we're going to pull in here now. I'm going to say hi to Ronnie and maybe Joe, the owner, is here. And uh, I haven't seen Joey in a while. And, uh, you know, we'll see what kind of hookup we can get on uh, maybe a hood, which would be good. The hood's the only thing I really want to replace. Uh, the rest of it, the fender's banged out. Roof's almost there. And uh, the hood's just the only thing that's really in my eyes not worth fixing only because the damn thing is uh you know it's just real you know like pop can metal the thing i'm sure you guys watched me buff it and the stupid thing is just uh you know warping and doing everything just under the pressure of the buffer so it's gonna um be hell to freaking uh try to do any kind of body work on that all right guys well let's uh see what we can dig up escape black hood be nice if we found one uh, close to the color we have, or the color. The gray one. You said there was four or five of them here. Look at that. There's one our color right there, I think. Missing the hood. Son of a bitch. Fender we need, if we did go that route, is messed up. It's got a good set of mirrors on it, though. The windshield. Be nice to buy a part and not have to paint it. Wouldn't that be the cat's ass? I gotta buy paint anyway, though, to do the roof and the fender. Ah. Let's go this way. anymore.
The only thing I don't like about this junkyard, it's very, very muddy. Navigator. more Ford stuff sitting over here. Looks like we're going to be taking a black hood with us. Either the black or the charcoal one. Either way. all GM stuff over here. Somebody needs some quarters off this bourbon. Silver one. Hood's got it done on it. Thunder's creamed. So Lincoln LS. Somebody stripped the shit out of this thing. But they're starting to. The same rims as mine. mine. All my freaking center caps are corroded like hell. Corrosion. Maybe we'll snag a couple of these while we're here. Taking a truck. Going out back. Found us a hood and some mirrors.
remember which row it was. Was it the first row or the second row? This row. Sweet thing it is. Getting old El Camino here. Find a spot to get out of here. Here we go. Yeah, it sucks that hood uh, with the right color was missing. Oh well. Some bitch. That'd have been sweet. I guess now I'm gonna have to buy a pint of paint. Make a stretch. Alright guys, so just left the junkyard. We got ourselves a hood and a set of mirrors because I'm an impatient bastard. $50 for everything. And that's what I paid for the set of freaking brand new mirrors off of eBay that still aren't here yet. But I'll have a, I'll have a pair of mirrors to sell anyway. Screw it. Um, Seasonologist called me. The windshield just got in. So guess what, guys? This time tomorrow, I'm hoping, or Saturday. Saturday, we're going to have this thing painted. We're going to have it done Saturday. Screw it. I'm going to um, screw around with it for the rest of the day today. And uh, I'll go ahead and get a pint of paint ordered up for it. I have a GM Blue that's very similar to this uh, Blue that's on this Explore, or this Escape. So what I'm going to do is I'll go ahead and just kind of shoot everything when it comes time to paint with the wrong color, I'll, and then we'll just go over it with a couple coats of the right color so I don't have to spend a whole lot for paint. So even with buying all these parts um, and the paint, everything I think we're going to have, including the purchase price of the vehicle or the labor, okay, of what it would have cost, we'll say, I'm going to have roughly... Um, Let's see here. Do 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 do. About two hundred and fifty dollars out of my pocket in parts. Um, probably another fifty worth of paint. So three hundred bucks out of my pocket, and then three fifty, which would have been the selling price of the vehicle. So we'll say roughly seven hundred bucks. We're gonna have a two thousand and five Ford Escape that looks damn good. Something that runs and drives, four wheel drive. How can you freaking beat it, guys? I'm um, gonna repair the fender. We're gonna repair the damage on the roof. Okay, we're actually gonna paint this stuff. Okay, um, and we're gonna install the new hood and paint that. We're gonna do everything uh, by the end of the weekend except for this. I probably won't get into this dent quite yet. Okay, at least I wanna get the main part of it done. And then if I get a minute sometime, I'll hit that dent back there, but who knows, by the end of the weekend, I might take care of that. But anyway, we're gonna be on video four here, and is what we're gonna be doing is pulling this windshield. All right, guys, I hate, I hate doing windshields. Hate it. I wouldn't even do one for 100 bucks if somebody paid me 100 bucks to install a windshield in their car. That's how much I hate them. Hate them. All right, they're a freaking messy job. They're a pain in the ass, and honestly, I don't have the correct tools to do it. But a lot of you guys don't either. So this is what we're going to do. First of all, the wipers have to come off it, okay? Uh, this cowl panel here needs to come off it. All right. Um, and then we might, hopefully we're not going to have to pull this pillar trim out of here. Look at all the glass in the seat. Yep, I'm going to sit down. Um, probably should pull this pillar trim. All right, but I don't think I'm going to. Um, because I think is what we're going to do. We're going to do like the freaking redneck way in this bastard. Because this windshield is so caved in, it's not even holding its original shape anymore, okay? From from the roof getting pushed down, windshield got caved in, blah, blah, blah. It's going to be hard to get in there and cut this thing out. It really is. So it's what I'm going to do. I know, some of you are going to cringe. You're going to be like, pisser. Is what I'm going to do. I'm going to kick the bitch out. I am. I'm going to kick it out, or kick most of it out, and then I'm going to cut what's what's left out of here okay and the only reason why I'm gonna do that because up here guys it's gonna be hard to push out in this windshield and get a knife in there and cut all this out and it's just it's gonna be a pain in the ass alright I, I just hate doing windshields and the last one I did was on a rollover Tahoe about this time maybe two years ago roughly 
It was right around Christmas of 2010, I think I did a rollover Tahoe. Same deal, except it was a lot harder of a rollover. We had to put a door, a hood, a fender. Um, the roof was really pushed down, windshield of course, mirrors, some back glass. I mean, it was a harder roll than this particular vehicle. All right, this is just a kiddie roll. This is like just, I don't know, it's like, I don't even, I don't even know, I mean, this thing was such a light rollover. I know a few of you mentioned that you thought maybe a tree branch had hit it. That is not the case. I mean, if a tree branch hit the thing, there wouldn't be mud plastered all over it and corn stalks stuck in the wheels. And you know what I mean? It was definitely a rollover. I did talk to the driver. He said it was really light into a really soft cornfield. Okay, it was more like muck, actually, is what the thing rolled over in. Um, so, I mean, obviously, it, it wasn't a hard roll. I mean, most of the scratches on the hood, you know, and everything else buffed right out. I mean, it was in just mud, in a muddy, muddy, flooded cornfield is what he said. So, we're going to start by pulling these wipers off. Okay, they look like they're maybe 14s, maybe 13s, 14s. And then we got to take these cowl panels off here. And we're going to have to be very careful with this, too, with the glass guys, because um, I believe the cabin air filter is in here, okay? Um, so I'm going to have to vacuum clean any glass that ends up getting down there, um, out of there. Otherwise, when you turn the heater and defroster on, the thing's going to spit glass for months. I made that mistake once by not doing that. So just a little FYI for you guys, if you do a windshield job and it's shattered and you got to kick the stupid thing out, which I don't really know of any other way to do it with this vehicle, um, I mean, you're going to have to get a shop vac and, and vacuum clean all that stuff out of there okay looks like we got a couple bolts here from something um so yeah this is just a little fyi if i forget to tell you later all right so i'm gonna go ahead and get these wipers pulled we'll get this cow panel pulled off looks like just a phillips head screwdriver for these little freaking plastic doohickeys okay um yeah phillips head screws and it looks like either a 13 or a 14 um socket to get the wiper arms off all right, now we're sitting inside the vehicles. What I got here, I have a um, retractable uh, razor blade knife here. But it's what I'm going to do. I don't want to kick this whole thing out yet. But I'm going to try to get all the bulging of this windshield heading toward the outside as I fill up my pant leg and socks full of freaking glass here. But I'm going to try to cut as much of this as I can. like some of this is actually pushing right out. So we're going to keep going. I'm not kicking it. Alright, maybe we can get in there with this blade now. I'm wearing a hat, so I'm going to try to hold this out with my head. What I'm doing is just cutting across this bottom here. Trying not to cut the dashboard. You definitely don't want to cut the dashboard. Let me get rid of my cigarette here. Alright. See this is why another reason why I don't do windshields. I don't I just don't have the tools. A lot of the guys can come here and do this and 20 minutes takes me an hour and a half. And the windshield urethane they use is some very, very strong stuff. Believe it or not, guys, a little FYI that don't know, windshield is actually part of the roof strength of your car. I mean, if you hop, say you hop on the roof of that Ranger and jump up and down, that roof isn't going to really buckle till that windshield lets loose. Once that windshield lets loose, that roof's going to cave like nothing. All right, windshield is a very strong piece of glass. And a lot of you don't know, you see how this windshield's kind of, you know, it's not all over the place, so to speak. You know, like say you smash a side glass out, you know, it'll break into a gazillion pieces. Well, there's a piece of plastic in between the layers of glass in this windshield. Okay, this is actually a rubbery type of plastic in here. Then there's glass on the inside and outside. On both sides of this plastic, it's like glue. It's transparent. Then is what they do, layer of glass, 
layer of sticky plastic on both sides and layer of glass. And that's what holds this all together. Otherwise, if this windshield broke, there would have been bits and pieces of glass everywhere. But the windshield is part of your structure of your car. Like I said, if, if this windshield was in this thing, and we get up, up in that roof and jump up and down, until the windshield breaks, that roof isn't going to buckle all the way. Once the windshield breaks, the roof's done. All right, unfortunately, I don't think this blade's going to do me much good to try to get up in here. Cut this from the bottom is what I'd really like to do. That's why I'm trying to go from the inside here. And uh, I'm trying to cut across the bottom that way. So let me keep doing this because it's kind of hard doing this uh, holding the camera too. And uh, we'll uh, fire this thing back up when we get a little more progress. Oh man, freaking glass everywhere. Looks like I'm going to get the shop vac out. I'll get all this shop vac'd up and then uh, we'll go ahead and we'll cut the rest of this out of here. What a freaking mess. Holy shit. Some glass, glass everywhere. Now, if this was a nice hood and freshly painted, I'd be pissed. That's why you put a blanket or something down, you know what I mean? But I don't care, I got a hood for it now, so we're good. See how much it scratched that up? Look at that. You want to try not to drag the uh, vacuum cleaner on the dashboard because the, the glass will scratch it. Usually if you like hold the corner up, see how I have it? It works okay that way. I mean, if it's something you really care about, you definitely want to do this a whole different way. I want to make sure you suck as much as you can out of these defroster ducts, too. So this is what I'm doing now. I got most of the glass vacuumed out. Um, so what I'm trying to do now is just cut the rest of this windshield out. You can see here, little by little, is what I'm doing is I'm grabbing a hold of this, holding some upwards pressure on it, and trying to cut across here. Now there is some damage it looks like to the pinch weld of the roof, so we're going to have to address that before we try to test fit a windshield into it. Okay, but for now, I'm just trying to get all this freaking uh, windshield gear thing cut. And it's a pain in the ass and you should wear gloves. Alright, I'm not. My bad. Alright, do as I say, not as I do. I don't know, I guess that's how it goes, right? Well, it was going on a pretty good roll here, but I seem to be getting hung up. get enough of this split away here and then I can uh, go ahead and try to lock this out of here. Just broke her knife. Son of a bitch. Yep, sure did. I think I bought two of them. Junkyard said they broke four windshields trying to get one out. Looking at the way this molding set up here, I kind of understand why. Yeah, the pinch weld's definitely screwed. I'm gonna have to address that a little bit. I really don't want to pull the headliner out of it though. We can help it. Yeah. 
If I had the extra money, I would have paid somebody else a hundred bucks to change it. Because I hate doing this. There we go. Now maybe we can get somewhere. One bad thing, never pull the knife toward you like I'm doing. something here, a GPS or something. Yeah, it looks like uh, this car might have been on the buy here, pay here plan. That's what that looks like, one of those little GPS antennas. All right, now what I'm going to do, where all this surface rust is here, I'm going to grind all this out, okay? Uh, might as well, you know? Just going to use a wire wheel. That's what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and spray a little etch primer on that. So there'll be something there and then we'll go ahead and I'll clean all this up, okay? Then I'm going to lay a, a, a bead of uh, windshield urethane down. Now, because this is my own vehicle, I'm not going through all the steps, I'm not taking all the old urethane out, I'm not going to go ahead and, and uh, use the butyl primer all the way around everything, okay? I'm just going to go ahead, clean this up really good, lay a good thick bead of freaking um, windshield urethane on here, slap this windshield and call it a day. Okay, I think I've got this pretty straight across here to where it's going to fit the headliner. I know it's throwing us off. Okay. So this dent here, I'm going to have to pull it out from the top. I mean, I don't know. I, I might be able to get up in there, but I'm not going to really worry about this right now. Like I said, we're just going to make it drivable for right now. Maybe over the weekend or, or whatever, um, or even sooner than that, I'll start messing with these, uh, these dents up here. But this is the least of my concern right now. I at least want to get a piece of glass in it. Get the mirrors on it, get the thing sitting outside so I can uh, work on this. Another thing to do too, guys, this windshield urethane, get it nice and warm before you're ready to use it. The warmer this stuff is, the easier it's going to flow out. Otherwise, you might break a, a cotton on it if it's really cheap. This stuff is super thick. So always try to get this stuff nice and warm. It just helps it not so much nicer. Roll this a little bit here. If you really want it warm to the top, try about you know 110, 120 degrees. It's going to take a couple minutes for that heat to soak all the way through to the center of the tube, too. And she feels nice and warm. We'll let it sit for a minute, and I'll go ahead and warm it up again. Another thing, too, is the way you cut that tip. Hopefully you guys can see it okay. We'll get you in some better light here. This camera's starting to take a dump, I think. But if you can see that, I got the tip cut pretty wide. So we can lay a nice, thick, even bead all the way around this windshield frame. What I usually do, I usually start at the top, somewhere's in the middle, and just let her rip. I usually put it on super thick on the top.
Now I'm going to attempt to put this son of a bitch in here alone. This will be fun. No suction cups. No helper. No nothing. Open these doors. This is the part that sucks, guys. I'm trying to do this shit alone. There is a couple bump stops, but I can't seem to find them. All right, it's kind of in place. <laughs> Grab a piece of tape here to help hold the side up. seen guys break them right here. You gotta be very careful. But you do have to be firm with them. You do have to seat them. And I have broken a couple windshields installing them. Not gonna lie to you. If you don't have the right tools especially, it's a bitch. Grab some tape for the other side. I don't even windshield your thing on me yet. It's surprising. Usually it looks like I took a bath in it when I'm done.
The reason why I'm doing this is to keep that windshield from settling down. It does have a couple bump stops here, um, but this is just to be on the safe side, guys. Okay, now what we got to do is let this dry. I'm going to take and uh, dig all the crap out of here, okay, and uh, I'm just going to let it dry. I couldn't um, use the old molding, but I did leave part of the molding that was on this windshield, but there's a little gap here all the way around. But I guess as long as it's an even gap all the way around, I'm not going to really concern myself with it, okay? So it is going to be a winter beater, but it is going to be fixed up halfway decent. But you know what? Hey, you guys seen this thing? When did I buy this? Tuesday? Monday? And it's Thursday. I'm going to slam the mirrors on it and drive this son of a bitch. In about an hour. That's what I'm talking about.